In this video, we are also going to try to evaluate these three limits. Let's look at the first one. Limit as x approaches 3 of square root of x plus 1. In the case of a radical, you gotta plug the value into it. In this case, it's going to be square root of x, which is 3, and plus 1. And that's going to be square root of 4, which comes out to be 2. So this was an easy one, but I want to show you the, what's, why the next one is not the same as the first one. For the next one, you might think the answer is square root of 0, just plug 0 into x, and you're going to get 0 for the answer. But that's not going to be true. That's not actually the answer. And to see why, you can think about what the square root function looks like. The square root function is only defined for x greater than 0 or equal to 0. When x is 0, it's going to be 0. When x is 1, it's going to be 1. When x is 4, it's going to be 2. And it goes on like this. Square root function is not defined for something negative. If you put something negative into it, you do not know where the function is going to go. It's actually going to be imaginary. So in this case, when you're talking about limit, you got to think about what's happening from the right and from the left of, in this case, 0. In this case, from the right, it does seem like the value, the f of 0 is going to be 0, is from the right, from right. It seems like, it seems like limit is 0. But what's happening from the left? Since the square root function is not defined from the left or for negative values, you do not know. You do not know what's happening as you're getting closer and closer to zero from the left. And in those cases, if the limit from the right is defined but the left is not, we say the limit does not exist. So for the second one, the answer is actually not zero. It's that limit does not exist, DNE. Let's look at the third one. Limit as x approaches zero of cube root of x. Now cube root of x is defined for all x. Well, even no matter it's negative or positive, it goes like this. So in this case, as you're approaching from the positive side, it's the limit is zero. As you're approaching from the negative side, the limit is also zero. So in this case, we can safely say the limit is actually equal to zero.